so much as I do and freeze it. Um, it's great. Patrick Carlin. All right, man. A lot happened. I got a plethora here, bro. Right, go. Let go. me tell you something. I couldn't get this camel through one of them needles. And a needle <laughs> is the entrance, you know, through those walls back there. Yeah. You just had to take the bundles off and the animal could get through okay. The less stuff you want, the happier you're going to be. Yeah. I mean, that just makes good sense. Anyway, aside from the philosophical crap arena, I got to tell you that I am not as identified in Joe's Pope trip, uh, the Monsignor in charge of collections. That's all right. He's not infallible yet, so he made a little mistake on that. Right. What I told him was I wanted to be, me and some of the guys from my neighborhood, you know, like 47811 up above and Charlie the Ghanif and Danny and a few other guys, I want to just go in the counting room with my neighborhood guys and stack up the money for Joe when it starts coming in, should he get this job done. So I won't be one of the ones joining up with the Muslims and the Jews and the atheists that he's throwing his arms open to because I'm on that agnostic trail, bro. I'm down there. Well, with, you could be his agnostic consultant. No, I'm on an agnostic trip. All of that is bogus to me, and that's why I dug what, uh, what Patty said about the smoke machines following <laughs> the man around. I like that idea. Well, they're all blowing smoke. We know that. That's what it's about, yeah. blowing smoke. And where are they blowing it? Uh, well, anywhere, any orifice that's uh, not aware of itself and staying closed tight. However, let me tell you something, man. They talked about the book of Revelation. Yeah. And again, you played right into my hands with that because on page 181, you wanted to what you wanted was, why don't they get an upbeat idea about the book of Revelation? Right. And I wrote, I will do this. And then right after I said, I will do this, I said, wait a minute, I did this. Page 184 in, yo, uh, wait, I forgot the name of my own book, man. Uh, Kien, Kien Blank and Sabe. All right, here we are, and this is an upbeat version. Heading for Arma Blank and Geddon. We're heading down the highway looking for Arma Blank and Geddon. Got lots of guns and ammo, water, food, and bedding. If you're a lucky blanker, blanker, it won't be your way we're heading. Praise the Lord, grab your sword. More fun than an Irish wedding. And that's only the first stander. It gets better after that, man. Joe, you gotta have him in a conclave. I'm trying to get a band for that. He refuses. Yeah. Right. We're, so, we're yeah. gonna work on him. I cannot take a place in any church because of the big electron. But I, like I said, I'll be there to count the money like Joe Pesci. Okay. Yeah, that's and I do endorse the guy. I'd rather see Joe in there than Bono. <laughs> Thank you, Patrick Carlin. Thank you, Lady Reicher, Vital Health of Woodstock. Um, you can also go Lady Reicher, R-E-I-C-H-E. Lois T. Martin, our favorite psychic. Get to her website, loistmartin.com, and give, give yourself a psychic reading, or better yet, a gift to somebody else. Uh, thanks to Joe Rayola. Good luck with the Pope trip, and uh, to the <laughs> rabbi, and to Patty. So I went to push the right button. Keep the dial tuned right where it is. Ron Van Marvel will keep you company right here at Radio Woodstock. All I'll show you. Have a good weekend. Happy birthday, Val. <laughs>